Okay, so on today's video, um, I'm going to be doing another video on the uh, PlayStation Classic. Um, this one is on RetroArch and how to add the overlays to all the uh, retro systems. Um, I'm going to be leaving you this link in the description. Um, it's a launch box. Um, so you just scroll down on the page. Basically shows you um, what the overlays are going to look like. So the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis, PlayStation, TurboGrafx. They basically have the whole set um, for all the retro consoles. So this is where you get the overlays. Um, the download for the pack um, is right here. So the media fire. So just download that. Um, now I'm going to show you what it looks like when you unzip it. So here's the pack. Retro Arch Overlay Master Pack. There you go. So it comes with... Uh, well over a hundred overlays for every system. Um, you can also download other um, overlays from other sites, but this it's got to be in this exact format. Um, it's got to be it's got to have a, a .cfg, which is a config file, and it's got to have a, a PNG file. So I'll show you an, an example. Um, Let's do the uh, meme. So that's what it's going to look like. Um, this is based on uh, the 4x3 uh, resolution. So you're going to have to switch the uh, resolution on your console to 4x3. Um, so now I'll show you where to put it on your USB stick. So here's my Sony, uh, USB stick. Um, you go under RetroArch folder and then you scroll down to, uh, where it says overlay. And this is where you put all your, um, overlays. So I got the whole set there for every system. So that's basically it for the computer side of things. Um, now we'll get on the uh, PlayStation Classic. And uh, I'll show you how to um, install them. Okay, so now over on the uh, PlayStation Classic, uh, turn on the system. Plugging your USB to the second port of the uh, controller. Uh, press square to go into RetroArch. Um, now go to whatever game you want to load. So load content. Start directory. We'll do a... Uh, Sega Genesis game. We'll do Jeopardy. Uh, Genesis Plus GX. This should run the game. As you can see, it's got the overlay. Now, if you want to change the overlay, if the game doesn't have an overlay already, reset button. Um, you got to go down to on screen overlay, press X. Uh, make sure the display overlay is on and the hide overlay menu is on and the show inputs on overlay is off. 
and then overlay preset press X and this is where you have all your overlays for every system so there's the Genesis if I want to switch it to something else say it's a game that doesn't have an overlay already um, you can change to something else here I'll, I'll change this one into an NES so you press the X you go back and now you resume now it's going to have the NES overlay so there's the NES overlay you can pretty much do this for every system um, so now we'll go back and change it so go back to overlay overlay preset now find the Genesis one again and that's the one we're going to use um, now you can go down to overrides press X um, save core overrides so it'll save it for pretty much every game in this in this uh, system for the Sega Genesis so just press X and it'll it'll save it successfully it'll override it now when you go back into the game it should have the Sega Genesis uh, overlay back press X and there's the Genesis um, you can also do this for the PlayStation 1 games. So you go back. Um, load content. We'll go to history. So I got a Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Superheroes. I've already started it. So we'll just use this one. Run. And as you can see, it's got the overlay. I already have picked the overlay. So there you go. So this is pretty easy to do. Um, basically works for every retro system. Uh, just make sure you change the aspect ratio to 4x3 so it fits in the screen properly. Um... I'll just show you a little bit of gameplay to see how it looks with gameplay. There you go. So it's got the feel of the uh, the old TVs, the CRTs. So I think this looks pretty cool. So that's basically it for the video. Um, I will leave the link in the description for the uh, pack download. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.